Um, hi, I'm Daniel, and I'm 16, and yes. I was just wondering, like, on a high school campus, like, kids are very polarized by this issue. Yes. So how do you engage them in such a way that, like, you don't get shut down immediately? Yeah. Well, it, it's, it's difficult on a high school campus because your First Amendment rights are so much more restricted. Um, if you're a pro-life group on a college campus, for example, you pay mandatory student activity fees, and the university is actually obligated under the First Amendment to give you a certain amount of money back on a viewpoint neutral basis. Uh, we've had Supreme Court decisions where, um, for example, newspapers have refused to allow students to talk about the issue of abortion. And by the way, because you have diminished rights on a high school campus, um, as a result of that, um, they're able to shut down that debate. And so I strongly encourage people to just seek out private sources uh, of funding uh, to actually bring that issue to the campus. Um, I, I, like what kind of activities do you want to get involved in on the, on the campus? What would you like to see happen? Um, more like per stuff on the personal level because again, right. because it's such a polarized um, issue, like a lot of like principals and superintendents don't want like actual organized movements, but like on a personal level, how would you engage people? Well, through, through social media. Uh, if it's something that you're not going to be able to discuss uh, on, on the campus, that, that's, how, that's why I think social media is an effective way of approaching the topic. And, uh, you know, again, I think if you do it right, uh, if you go out there and you stick with science, and that's, that's why I'm such a big supporter of using visuals and teaching people to educate themselves about what the science of embryology says. Uh, just focus upon trying to educate people on the central issue. You know, you've got to understand as many bad things as are happening to your generation. I mean, people look at, you, at, at your age and your generation, they beat up on you a lot. And you look at what your generation believes relative to what older generations believe. You're often subjected to ridicule. But seriously, you take a look at the issue of abortion, you notice that the numbers are a little bit different that young people tend to be a little bit more pro-life. Why is that the case? It's because you're the first generation out there that couldn't be fooled. My generation, when we were getting in trouble in the 80s, and my fraternity brothers and people I knew were, people were getting pregnant out of wedlock left and right, it was so easy for someone to come along and say, just have the abortion, it's just an undifferentiated clump of cells. And we believe it because it's what we wanted to believe. Your generation can't be fooled. Why? Because your generation has access to ultrasound technology. And your generation has access to social media. Share it.